Yo, what is up guys? It is me, Graffiti, and I am back with another tutorial. So, in this one, I am going to teach you how to fix your perk lights, and it's actually very simple. Um, so, to start, you're going to want to open up your map in Radiant, and you're going to want to find your perk machine that you're going to want to edit. So, normally, all the lights should be off, so you would actually want to edit all the lights. Um, quick Revive, you might want to have the lights on all the time. Um, because most of the time quick revive is one of the only perks that work in single player always so uh, I'm gonna show you both ways where in the second way you're going to actually have to turn on the power and that will turn on the lights to all the other perk machines in the map um, which is actually gonna have to be scripted in which is fairly simple I will actually have that pasted in the description for you so let's just get right into it so here's my quick re uh, quick revive machine and I'm sorry that it is invisible it's just a glitch with the uh, radiant right now while it's in beta so um, what you want to do is find your perk machine you're gonna want to click on your prefab so the perk machine should be in a prefab um, you want to click in on your keyboard and it's gonna open up your entity info and it's gonna show you the prefab if you look there's not very much stuff you can edit except for the angle and um, what the model looks like so um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna right click your prefab and you're gonna go to prefab enter prefab and so now what that's gonna do is going to take you into another mode um, another map pretty much um, the prefab itself actually um, and it's going to make everything else disappear so what you're gonna look for is you're gonna look for the lights so if you notice here are the spotlights right here so you're going to want to uh, click on all these spotlights right here so hold shift and then left click so once you have all of the lights selected make sure you get them all um, you are going to have to select every single one um, it's gonna say multi selected in your uh, info tool and so what you're gonna look for is you're actually gonna come down and you're going to look for lighting states so under lighting states if you notice it says true 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 and what that means is normally they're all set to false 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 and so what when they're all false that means that they're turned off so if you want so this is the quick revive machine so I'm going to want it to actually be on every single uh, I want it to be on the whole game even if the power is off so I'm gonna click all of them to be true on lighting state so let's say you're done with that you just click right click prefab leave prefab and then make sure you click save it and you want to save over the prefab um, so I'm not going to save that so now we're gonna go over to uh, to let's say mule kick and this is the prefab uh, that we're going to want to actually have the lights turn on when we turn on the power so we're going to right click and we're going to do the same thing and we're going to make sure the prefab is selected in entity info and you're going to prefab enter prefab so if you notice if you right click it uh, hold shift and left click it I mean it actually highlights the whole thing that does not mean all the lights are highlighted it, that just means one light is so you're going to actually have to click every single one of these lights that you see um, and there you go so now if you come down to your lighting states they should all say false again but this time we're only going to click on the, the second lighting state so go down to lighting state 2 and then click true and then you're gonna right click you're gonna go to prefab uh, no not right click you're gonna yeah prefab and leave prefab and then click save um, so once you have it saved you're all done um, so do that to the rest of your perks and then you can move on so once you finish that you're going to actually want to find your script so the best way to do that is go to your mod tools launcher you're gonna right click on your map name go to show zone folder go to black ops 3 go to user maps find your map name so mine zm underscore cryogenic spa double click and then open up your scripts zm and then uh, you're going to find your GSC file which is also by your CSC file so if you've ever done any scripting you should know where these are so now you're gonna wanna open up your GSE you're going to need a editor to use this so I would recommend Sublime um, but you could also use Notepad++ 
Um, so once you open it up, it should start out actually opened up like this. Um, and you're going to want to find main and you're going to actually want to go to the very end of function main. So you're going to want to look for the bracket, the ending bracket, which is right here. And then you're going to want to click enter and it's going to open up a new uh, line. And so let's actually um, control C this and we're going to delete it. So it should look something like this. Um, if you have done any zoning, uh, you will be able to actually tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. Uh, we're going to uh, click enter again, I mean. And then we're going to click control uh, V. And there you go. Um, you're just going to paste what I have down in the description. And you should be all done. Um, but if you would like to edit um, how you want it, if you look lighting state 1 in radiant is actually lighting state 0 in the script so if you were to go to lighting state 2 it would actually be lighting state 1 in the script so that's how you um, edit the script if you want to edit that in any way um, and that's about all if I were to um, go into my game right now and compile light and link um, and run my game and click build um, it should work so yeah guys, that's about it. Y'all guys, please have a nice day and leave a like, comment, and a sub and continue mapping. Peace, peace.